hop on here and talk about Instagram TV, how you can get your videos on Instagram TV, and specifically the right type of videos you want to put on this new platform. Now, I was thinking about this and I was looking on the app, I downloaded the app, and they said you could do up to an hour long video, but on the app, it, you can only do up to 10 minutes. And I was wondering, how do you do longer videos on Instagram TV? So if you wanna know how to do that, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So I actually found this Instagram help page here, and this shows you all the video requirements for Instagram TV. It's actually super easy. Um, they can be up to 10 minutes long from the app, and they could be up to 60 minutes long, but they have to be uploaded from a computer. Now this is different for Instagram. They usually do everything from the phone, but they're enabling more of a computer side of things so you can upload bigger files. Um, the videos must be in MP4 file format, and aspect ratio, uh, they say it must be between these two things, but this is basically your standard like 16 by nine, that's like you know your basic standard widescreen. It's basically that just flipped on its side. So nine by 16, and I can show you at the end of this video how to set that up in your video editing uh, program so that you can get all dialed in and make sure your videos are good to go. Let's see, you can do up to 650 megabytes and for 60 minutes up to 5.4 gigs. That's awesome, that's huge. How to create a channel. Basically, you're gonna wanna go to the Instagram TV app and then click create channel. Follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be good to go. I'll show you guys how to do that really quick here. Okay, when you log in Instagram TV, it's gonna give you this little welcome sign. I already logged in as my main account, but I'll, I'll log into a different account so you guys can see how this works. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to view videos. So you can scroll through just like that. You can tap on them, or you can uh, tap on them up top to make them big, and then scroll left and right. You can also hold your finger on the screen, which should pause it, go to browse. And to create your own channel, you're gonna click this little gear icon right there. Click create channel. Create your channel. IGTV is a new space, be creative. Next. Share longer videos, next. Build for vertical, okay. Create channel, boom, that's all you have to do. Click view your channel, and right here you can hit the plus button and you can upload videos right from there, or you can do it from your computer, which is what I'm gonna show you next. All right, so to upload from your computer, this confused me for a second. So you go to Instagram.com, make sure you're logged in. I'm logged in as my main account right here. I was looking all over the place, but then I saw, I saw it. It's right here. You click on your profile, um, or you can click your profile right there. And then it's right here, this little tab right here. So you have your post, you have IGTV, and boom, there's the upload button. This is where you can unlock that 50, 15 seconds to 60 minutes long. You click upload. You can also have a title, a description, and you can also share directly on a Facebook page. So you can drag your video right into here, and you can also set your cover photo, which is awesome. And if you have a work in progress, you can save it as a draft, or you can post it directly. So that's how you post a longer video, like up to 60 minutes from your computer, instead of just doing it on your phone and being limited to 10 minutes if you have something longer. Now really quick, I wanna show you guys really fast tutorial on how I edit a video to make sure it's ready for Instagram TV and the right file size. Let's hop over to Premiere here. Whatever video editing platform you're using, these principles apply. What I would recommend is having just a project called like IGTV, and it's like your project where you can throw all your completed videos into to reframe them and make them ready for Instagram. What you're gonna wanna do is create a new sequence that has just the right settings. So you can click new sequence like this, or you can right click a clip and make a new sequence. Uh, and these are gonna apply to any video editing software you're using. You're basically gonna take the frame, the normal like horizontal 16 by nine ratio frame and flip it on its side. So in the settings here, uh, I like to go to editing mode and just go to custom. Um, time base, you can do 23, 976 or 29. Those are pretty standard. Any of these ones, I would say 23, 96 or 29, 97. Those are the two standard frame rates. If you don't know which one to choose, just do uh, this one. And then this is your frame size right here. And you can actually see the ratio right there. And if you remember on the Instagram website, where is it right here? They say that the ratio has to be um, uh, between 4.5 and a maximum of 9 by 16. We want this to be 16 by 9 or 9 by 16, I should say. 1080 on the horizontal in 1920 on the vertical. But yeah, square pixels is what you want and that's gonna make it nine by 16. There we go. Okay, all these guys are good to go. I would leave these all as default. Click okay and then you're gonna get a sequence that looks like this. See, this is like kind of your Instagram template. And then what I would do is I would just name this like IGTV 
template. I would just like duplicate this. Whenever you have a new project, I would duplicate it and I would name it like, you know, Vine Shots. Whatever the new project is, you would just open up a new sequence for that and you'd never have to make that sequence again. All right, so if you have an already completed video you want to format for Instagram TV, you're just gonna go grab that video. I grabbed this random commercial we did, drag it into Premiere, just like this. And then all you have to do is really resize it and reframe. So I like to scale it up just like that so it fits the frame. Go to the beginning like this and you basically are gonna make those cuts again. So you see where my film cuts, just like that. I'm gonna cut right there and then reframe this one here. So this one is a shot of a coach. He's like on the sidelines. I'm just gonna frame it up so it looks nice composition wise. And then um, on that cut, this is where we're gonna go to the next shot. This one, I'm gonna, let's see, there's a cut right there. I would cut right there and I'll reframe this one here. Now, not all video is gonna fit, you know, but you just wanna make sure it like, um, it makes sense, right? So, you know, this one, we got some guy that's running and then we have this shot of him running here. This one goes, to right about there. So you would just cut there. So it's gonna look seamless once you cut and kind of shift it around. It's actually going to, you're gonna be able to watch it on your phone, it's gonna make sense. So you see this guy running, and then we have a shot of the coach right here. He's timing them. See this one's a little off center. So I'll cut there, see that? You gotta make sure it's exact right on those cuts. But this is a super fast process you can do and you can just go through your videos, get them formatted for IGTV. This doesn't look that great. <laughs> this shot right here. Uh, what if we do like half, that'd be kind of cool. So you gotta be creative with your framing, but you want your story to still make sense, right? So that's how you do it. And then once you're done there, um, set your in and out points, and then you're gonna click export, media, and then you might wanna create like a little Instagram story export setting. Um, typically for Instagram, like the file size isn't super important. I usually will just do match source high bit rate, honestly, like that is like going to do, like it's gonna export a good quality um, video for you and you don't have to mess with all these settings. If you really, if you're doing a little higher quality video, you can increase this bit rate a little bit, but just make sure you keep it on this file size down here. Cause remember Instagram said um, that can't be over 650, I think, from the phone. Uh, 650 if it's 10 minutes or less, and if it's up to 60 minutes, it can be up to 5.4 gigabytes. So uh, you definitely have some room to play there, and I would probably just increase this bit rate just a little bit, just like that, hit export, and then you're good to go. Um, you can upload from a computer, or you can like send it to your phone via Dropbox or something and upload from your phone if it's less than 10 minutes. That's all you guys. If you're an IGTV creator or influencer, I want you to join this group on Facebook. If you wanna grow your channel, collaborate with other creators, and learn how to monetize your work as an influencer, this is gonna be the one-stop shop. So I created a group, I wanna hang out with you guys on Facebook, hold each other accountable, and grow our channels together. Click the link in the description below, and I'll see you in there.